weather enthusiasts. I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so this is the situation we have right here. They have issued another moderate risk. Guess what? They've issued a moderate risk for the exact same area as last time, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at that. They've issued a moderate risk from Cedar Rapids for the Quad Cities to outside of Peoria, including Hannibal. All these areas right here that were affected with the last outbreak. This is the tornado exp uh, uh, chances right here. We have a 15% hatch probability right here, which means we have a 15% chance of a, of a significant tornado, which is EF2 to EF5, uh, five, happening within 25 miles of a point. The wind risk is actually now up to 30% now. We have a 30% risk of 60 mile per hour winds happening within 25 miles of a point right here. And if we take a look at the hail, the hail is actually the second biggest threat, primarily because of all this hatch risk right here. And if we're taking a look at the hail, we now have a 30% uh, hatch risk, which means we have a 30% risk of 2-inch hail or greater happening within 25 miles of a point. I think this is entirely justified considering all the cape that we've been seeing. And we'll get to that in just a second, but I want to read the summary real quickly. Severe thunderstorms appear likely to develop late Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday night across the lower Mississippi Valley into southern the portion of the upper Midwest across portions of... Of the, uh, excuse me, across parts of the southeastern Great Plains into portions of the Mid South. These could pose a risk for a few strong tornadoes, hail, and damaging wind gusts. So that's what we're looking at right there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the at the HER model right here. We can now finally pull that up at its fullest. We have the HER run going on right now. We're starting at 8, 8 Zulu on Tuesday or 8 UTC Tuesday, which is 3 in the morning. You see these stu this stuff going on. You st start to see st cells firing up around 10, 11 o'clock in the morning in some of these areas in Illinois right there. And then the main event begins around 4 p.m. with a bunch of super cells starting to potentially fire up. In, uh, in parts of Illinois, Iowa, Wisconsin, all those areas. And then we get some more storms firing up in parts of Missouri right here. And then into the overnight, we start seeing a very big squall line develop right here. We could definitely see some very damaging wind gusts with that as time continues to go on. Now, I've been looking at some more model trends and everything like that. And I've been looking at some things that may potentially bust the, uh, the whole event, as a matter of fact. If we take a look at the cape for some of this, first of all, the cape looks... Absolutely impressive with a lot of this. The Cape cracks like four to 5,000 in a lot of these areas. Now, the problem with this is that there is some ca uh, some cap or sin inversion with some of this. In fact, if we pull up some of the soundings real quickly, this is what we got right here. We're looking at 2,300 Cape in northeastern Missouri right here. The cap's around 100. And, could sit and with that, all that considered, basically... What the what cap is is basically it's kind of keeping a lid on the severe weather outbreak we're looking at right here. It doesn't mean it's not going to happen, but it does mean there's a possibility of this busting. That is, if this thing holds. Now, what's really going to it boil down to is basically how much heating we get from the sun from all this. Now. How that works basically is radiation from the sun first uh, hits the ground. If it's a partly cloudy day, it hits the top of the clouds. Then some of it bounces off of the, of, of the ground then, and then hits the clouds from below. So basically what that can do is that can lead to more uh, instability in the atmosphere and everything like that. And that will erode that more stable air that this cap is. Now, depending on how sunny it is in a lot of par parts of Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois will depend on how big the severe weather event will be. I know it really boils down to just uh, that small fact right there because everything else is there. We have good shear. We have good SRH right here. We have very good directional shear as well, and we have really good cape. The problem is, will this cap break or not? And we're at looking at around 100, minus 100 joules per kilogram, which that's a pretty decent cap for like 2,300 cape right now. Now, if it was around like 3,000, 4,000, no problem. That will that'll break quite easily. But if it's around 2,000, 2,500, it's a little more difficult to predict at that point. But if that cap does break, it will break very explosively. So keep that in mind as we continue looking at these soundings. Take a look at the next sounding right here. This was taken in northwestern Illinois. Capes around 2,300. Caps around 200, according to this. That's going to be very hard to break through unless we see a lot of, uh, of sun during the day uh, and all that. Because everything else looks good. It's just the cap that doesn't, and that caps are almost at 200 joules per kilogram. So 
That's what we have right there in north in northwestern Illinois. Yeah, and this last sounding is from Iowa, and we're looking at 3,500 joules per kilogram of CAPE right here, and the CAPE's around minus 50. So, yeah, that's most likely going to break in that area right there. PDS tornado, the tornado chances are completely off the charts over here. Um, SRH is really good. Shear is really good. Directional shear is really good. Even the cap's a little lower in this part of uh, southeastern Iowa near the Quad Cities. So definitely something to pay attention to as time continues to go on. And we'll continue to update you here on the Pat's Path Predictor channel. But with that being said, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps me out and helps you make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. Comment below what you think. But with that being said, have a wonderful day and stay safe.